right, we're live, not lives actually. Um, hey, I got a package that I'm terribly stoked about. I have seen these and um, I, I follow some people on Instagram that are really into, uh, what are these really called? Um, but they're like inch man or they're related to micro man some degree. Let me see if I can just cut straight down how much I got to cut into. I don't know if this is, they really do a great job on some of this packaging. I got a styrofoam block with about a billion strands of tape on it. So I'm not sure if it's cut in half or, you know, what I'm really doing here. So maybe I should use a saber blade. Um, oof, that hurts. So it looks like both sides of this thing are just about as sharp as each other. Um, this takes too long. I might have to just cut this video because it's like, this is ridiculous. All right. It's a big block of styrofoam. Okay, let's try to... I'm trying to find out where you got... Did they just dip it in styrofoam? It's got to be a way to get into this package. Oh, I found it. Okay, so... I thought it was going to be cut in half, but evidently it's not. And I don't want to. All right, here it is. All right. And there's a lot of room here, a lot of wiggle room. So it's not like it needed all that. This is tiny. These are called Power Armors. Um, it is by, oh my gosh, that's way tinier than I could imagine. I mean, Oh my goodness. I, I just I had no idea. Here's like your standard four inch figure. And here's the figure it came with it. He's about the size. He could be a headmaster for this four inch figure. That's incredible. I can like just go ahead and shrink down a little bit on this tripod. <sighs> I'm trying to remember what they're called off the top of my head. I just know that um the diaclone. They're they're the originally the predecessors to Microman. Uh or part of Microman. I don't exactly know the connection. I just know that Diaclone gave us a lot of the Transformers. Diaclone, like um, most of the G1 vehicles. That's why the, uh, I think the uh, Starscream and all them have cockpits that fit these original figures. Not this, but I mean, by golly, I mean, look at that. That tiny figure could probably go in there. That's, that's smaller than my Cylon figure that I have. I need to find my Cylon Raiders to see how comparatively small this is. Because those were always like my standard for the smallest thing. Look how freaking tiny that is. I'm not complaining at all. If it sounds like, oh, you're raising your voice. You must be hating it. No, it's awesome. It comes with this little box he puts it in. So when you're in travel mode, you got this box uh, crate. Um, try to figure out how to open it. Open sesame seed. So yeah, I got this off of um, AliExpress for about, oh, I don't even remember off the top of my head because it's like it was, <sighs> okay, I think there's something to do right here. Okay, I'm befuddled with this. Um, it's got pieces that I don't even know what they go to. There's no pictures on it, unfortunately, and there's no com like manual inside of it. But you got all these little energy weapons I guess that go on the little teeny tiny look at the size of this mech it's so freaking tiny it, I thought these were gonna be bigger not I'm not complaining I'm not complaining I'm just just shocked uh, whoever did the reviews that I was watching on TV must have the tiniest or TV YouTube must have the tiniest hands I have ever seen in my life uh, man these are small I, I just can't get over how tiny these are so if you're not if you know what a G.I. Joe is, and this is not technically a G.I. Joe, this, this is tiny compared to him. All right. So this thing is incredibly posable. It's a teeny tiny mech warrior. I, I'm just shocked how amazingly small this is. I remember on the video, okay, because there's like at least four different types of these mech armor suits. I wanted this one because it has a bubble top on it. There's a cat meow. And of course there's a cat meow. And as soon as I start a video, there he goes right in there. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I I really dig it. It's so tiny. I cannot get over how tiny this is. I mean, 
<laughs> okay oh look you can put the legs up for storage like I, that's probably how you put it in the robot mode and down so the legs the the uh, waist frame slides the legs are on a ball joint or the hinge at the knee and a ball for the foot a hinge at the ankle my cat is going to be on until i can ever i get up and help him but he wanted to go in and get something to eat when i was coming out here ball joints right here hinge at the shoulder and then a swivel a ball joint at the bicep which of course does a lot of things a hinge at the elbow and at the wrist it's got a swivel all right let's take a look at the actual figure on the inside i mean i i don't I don't want to put too much on him and then lose all these pieces. I don't know. I'm not sure. I need to actually get a guide and figure out, like, what does this go to? Does it go to him? I I don't see how. It could be, like, something he rides on at his feet, maybe? I don't know. There's nothing, like I said, there's no guide. There's no information. This thing I thought was going to be, like, just pop it open, but it appears that this comes apart right here, but I can't figure out how to open it without... I mean, it, it's pretty tight. Is there like some kind of button I need to push? Because there's no spring-loaded mechanisms I could see since it is translucent. And I did pick the translucent one as opposed to the opaque ones. There are opaque ones if you don't like translucent, but I'm sitting there going, micro band, micro knots. Clearly, I need the clear because that's that was the first clear toys I ever had was micro knots. All right, let's look at this little teeny, tiny, freshly small figure. I cannot get over how tiny he is. Uh, his head are, is not articulated. He's got an ab crunch, which is crazy to even think about. Um, he's got a ball jointed shoulder. He's got more articulation than a lot of American, you know, four inch or 12 inch action figures. Uh, he's got hinges at his hips, but they also seem to be on some kind of a, they appear to be on a ball. Yeah, they're, okay, no, it just looks like there's a hinge. It's a ball joint, definitely. That's not a hinge. His knees can bend 90 degrees. There's no ankles because, good gosh, I mean, seriously. Um, the only thing it doesn't move that looks like it should move is the head, which I'm not complaining. Again, I, I'm just shocked at how tiny this is. It's, it is not bad. It is amazing. <laughs> I, I just, jeez, wow, this is amazing. So um, if you don't have much storage room <laughs> like me, this might be the thing you want to get into. And I would love to get more of these, but these are normally crazy prices. Like, I don't know. I really think I pay like 25 bucks for this. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll, I'll try to include it in the information, but I don't want people to think I'm trying to sell it because I don't want eBay to, or not eBay, um, I don't want the YouTubes to go, oh, you're trying to sell this. No, I'm not because Instagram still has this thing on there that says I'm trying to sell something. I'm like, I'm not trying to sell something. I was make, I made a video of an old ad and ever since then it's had this thing up there that says monetary blah, blah, blah. And they won't go away. And I can't tell them, hey, um, I'm not selling anything. Stop trying to put that stupid thing up there. All right, let's see if it stands on its own. Yeah, of course. Something this close to the ground, do you think it's not going to stand on its own? This looks like it could be like the inside, like the biotrons inside of his stomach. I'm not quite 100% sure. Like, okay, so I know a lot of people like beast blocks or those cubes that have like turned into animals. What's up with those? I mean, is it it turns into a cube and then it turns into an animal or a humanoid is that supposed to be like really popular right now i'm just just curious i'm not making fun of it i'm kind of tempted to get some of them but why is that so popular to turn things into cubes i really want to get this open i feel like this is the key to it somehow like something about this goes to this maybe it's maybe it's just to hold it together more securely because it does seem to be perfectly station for this part and that must mean that i can also take this no it's not gonna let me pull it apart oh wait that's, i'm pulling this is the side that comes apart there we go okay it's just it's got these little locking pegs so i do remember this from the video that i saw but i swear it's like when the guy had it in his hand it looked way bigger he must have tiny hands i keep thinking it's gonna rain today I think you had to fold the arms back. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, you had to fold it back to get him into more compact mode. Um, so something about the arms, you're supposed to fold them back and then 
the legs, compact them more into like, he's basically going to be a cube that goes inside of here for transport mode, I think is what the, the guy said on the uh, YouTube video. So there are very few people that have videos of this stuff in English. Um, if you find them, you better subscribe to them. I, I That's what I've been doing because it's like, I may not like everything they do, but um, yeah, there's some things I definitely am interested in. So there we go. So he can packs into there for a transport mode. But look at this. It's so cool. I really like it. It reminds me of um, a lot of the mechs from, you know, the 90s mech warrior movies or TV shows, uh, cartoons. And it, it's not meowing. That's my cat behind me because he went in. They go in and they eat for like two minutes and come right back out. And it's like my dad spoils them to death. And now he's not here right now. And he thinks I'm going to just get up and do that. All right. I know you can't stand here either. Oh, let's put some guns on him anyway. Let's just go and play around with him a little bit. All right, this is where I'm afraid I'm going to lose him because I can't get my fat fingers in there. And it feels like it's about to... Like, I feel like either that's wind or rain. Like, oh, okay. There we go. Dump him right there. Okay, so... I saw this right away. I was like, that looks like... Oh, that looks good. So he's got over-the-shoulder cannons, which I personally always really like. Now, they're not level, so he can't shoot mice directly in front of him or some... I personally, like, in my universe, I don't have humans fighting humans. I have humans fighting, like, monsters and not, like, not like Godzilla-type monsters, like, really evil, gross monsters that will eat humans without any thought. You know, they don't think about it twice. Even as a kid, like, um, even... Like when I had He-Man and Skeletor. Well, Skeletor, yeah, he was evil. But some of the bad guys, I made them to good guys. Because they're humans. And that's just the way I felt. So, um, they fought like... <laughs> you, <laughs> They fought my imaginary monsters. That I would like have like the pillows from the couch or something. They'd be fighting them. I can't get the gun in his hand. Maybe the handholds are too small. And they fight sirens that go off all the time because people come to the beach just to drown. It's not even Memorial Day weekend. We got so many people down here. I think people, like, they come down here because it's like, well, I can't drown at home, so I better drown down here. Oh, look. Okay, so maybe it's meant to go like this. Because it does have a hole right there, too. So, the gun and the hand thing. is. It's just not going to go. All right. That's fine. Because this other thing does it. Yeah, you think, oh, living at the beach is such a wonderful thing. It's like, no, you have to put up with that a lot of the, during the summer. Not all the time. Like, in my house, I really can't hear it. Um, that's called insulation. <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. Look at that. I love this. It's so freaking tiny. I love these. Now, for the price, so I really want to get more. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, they're very expensive. Even even this is the knockoff version, and it's expensive. Um, I'll, I'll, again, I'll try to put either a link to it on my YouTube video, or there we go. For the cat goes crazy, or I'll um, just put the price on there. But you can go to AliExpress and buy one, and maybe buy my cat while you're at it. That'd be awesome. All right, have a great day.